Hey, welcome to day 170. Well, great news is we're back in Virginia. And uh, we're going to be hiking northbound this time back up to Harper's Ferry where we'll complete, I think we complete West Virginia, I'm not sure. We are in the very north end of the roller coaster, I believe. And uh, so we have a plan for today that uh, has an alternate. If we can go the whole way, it's like 19.5 miles to Harper's Ferry, and we complete this north section. If we get too tired or run out of daylight, there is a road crossing at 13.6, where we'll meet the van and bail out and do the final part as part of tomorrow's hike. But the goal is to do all 19 and a half, but that depends on terrain. So, so far so good. Very rainy. We haven't even seen the after effects of Hurricane Helene, which is coming in a couple days. We may have to get off trail and wait, I don't know. But it's just rainy today. And one of our goals and uh, that we've discussed between Buzz and I is uh, increasing our miles when we got down to Virginia. I mean, there's only so much you can do when you're up in the whites and that stuff. It's it's hard to put in more than 8, 10, 12 miles. But now that we're down here, we figured the terrain is going to be easier. The hill's less hilly. And uh, he says as he's climbing up this hill. But even this, see, this is easy, right? It's pretty gradual. Some rocks, but no, no big deal. So you can maintain a good pace. And uh, anyways, our goal was to increase our miles. And what is our big issue is um, daylight. Though we could, of course, night hike with our headlamps. But, you know, we only have so much daylight. We got on the trail today a little after 8 around eight probably have daylight till just after six so a little over 10 hours of daylight and if you're doing a 20 mile day that means you best be doing on average two miles an hour or better and i can tell you that on many days i didn't do two miles i was doing 1.7 sometimes 1.5 so the question is is with an easier terrain and he's not as steep mountains can we maintain that 2.0 or better and put the bigger miles in it's a nice gentle rain all day if it stays like this i'm fine i mean i'll be wet <laughs> i got a raincoat on and it's already starting i'm sweating underneath because raincoats make you sweat all right i'm starting to look like a drowned rat i keep the hood on but i tell you it's uh, i don't know i don't like it I don't even like hats on my head, so. Yeah, and just getting wet. So, we're about a mile in. Good news is we're uh, near 2.4 miles per average, miles per hour average. And uh, yeah, we got about two more miles of what is known as the roller coaster. I think there's a sign at the end, um, which again is the just, these up and down hills uh, you know they're actually pretty I mean you, you definitely see them they're there and now I'm going down again I, I was going up so it is a series of ups and downs but they're really not bad especially if you just came from New Hampshire you know these are like silly small and easy you almost don't have to change your pace going up these mountains whereas normally on a normal ascent I do slow down quite a bit. Uh, yeah, so it's been uh, so far very good. I'm happy with my pace. All right, Buzz and I are here at the state line covering West Virginia to Virginia. And uh, we're not tippling because it's like real early in the morning and that just sounds like a bad idea. Yep. But we'll tipple tonight. We will. We'll have a celebration. Yep. I do believe we've reached the end of the roller coaster. This is the northern end. Whoop. 
And for those hiking southbound, you're about to enter the roller coaster. Man, the moss on these rocks, I don't know if it's coming out on the camera, but almost glowing green. Pretty cool. All right, I know it's kind of early, but uh, I just want to say that today is turning out to be a pretty darn good day. I, um, you know, despite the rain, uh, rain's not been bad. I'm a little wet. <laughs> But, you know, I can ignore that. But my, uh, my legs feel good, my feet feel good, and this is a great trail. So, uh, yeah. I think we're going to make our 20-mile day today. I hope. We'll see. I am, uh, again, headed northbound for this segment. And uh, just crossed paths with a Sobo hiker named Market. And, uh, you know, I, remind me, I wondered... How many Sobo hikers we're going to see? I don't think we'll see any Nobos, maybe just flip floppers. But, but you know, of course you'll see. There's always going to be. I mean, we saw Sobos up in New Hampshire last week, right? So, yeah, there's people who don't mind being late or don't mind the winter that are heading Sobo. But the bubble theoretically leaves so like very early June, if not June first. And so I questioned where they would be, and I'm pretty sure they're past us now, so we're not seeing them. Uh, I'm going to guess they're in South Virginia, or even farther south, already in Tennessee and North Carolina. Well, I know some are finishing. I've Some very fast ones that we've already seen finish. So, uh, yeah. So I think we're basically, we're going to be... We're going to hardly see any Nobos. We'll see very few Sobos. It's going to be uh, not a crowded trail. And just check out this trail. I mean, it's ridiculous how uh, easy it is. It's just, you know, this is dirt. And... Oh, the Blackburn Trail Center. Huh. You see them post all the time on uh, Facebook. I think when you talk to people about hiking the AT and they don't know a lot about it, but they go, oh, okay. Um, they think you're hiking 2,200 miles on something like this. So, yeah, no, that's not how it works. But uh, when we do have trails like this, it's awesome. My feet are happy. My legs are happy. Yeah. The thing we don't know is, uh, you know, we got all of Virginia and a little bit of North Carolina, teeny bit of Tennessee to do, um, 700 and, now 740 miles, but uh, how much of it's going to be like this, you know? All right, we're one and a half miles out from our check-in spot, where we'll probably stop and have some hot lunch. Um, yeah, probably looks like I'll be arriving there about 2.15, which means we should have enough time to do the full hike of 19.5 miles. The other thing that was funny was uh, about a half mile back, I'm just walking along and all of a sudden there's a big thunk on my head. <laughs> Acorn fell out of a tree. It makes a dent. <laughs> all right. Got to cross a pretty, pretty difficult crossing here to get across the street. Welcome to Virginia. All right, we are heading on. We just had some pizza and hot coffee and uh, then do another five something miles. I don't know. But anyways, we're going to end up at the uh, parking lot in Harpers Ferry. So that's where we had started our northbound version of our hike. And so we're going to go to the same place now, hike up to that point. 
I can't believe this just happened. I got hit by a branch. <laughs> Man, hit my shoulder and arm. I don't know. It's uh, here. Let me show it to you. Wasn't that big? This branch here bounced off of me from the tree above. Dang. Oh well. All right. Still alive. And this branch just fell probably six feet from me on the trail. Yikes. All right, we're doing a triple tipple. I think it's a triple. What are we celebrating? New Hampshire, Vermont, and West Virginia. Okay, and we are now in Virginia, and we did a 20 mile day today. What, what? Smooth. Mm -hmm.